the, the last two weathers to join the old weather flock. <laughs> Come on, boys. Are you going to follow me? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on. Well, I don't want to stress them any more than they already are. So what I'm going to do, look at that beautiful little apple. So what I'm going to do is release the boy flock into here. Loads of grass, loads of windfalls. They will be able to eat to their heart's content. All kinds of delicious food. Look at all those windfalls. Ah, oh, they're beginning to follow me. Good boys. Atta boys. Come on. Come on, boys. Atta boys. Come on, boys. Atta boys. Oh, there's mustard as well. Mustard is helping out. Good boy, mustard. Nah. Kitty, kitty. Yeah, bring the lambs. Atta boy. Good boy. Nah. Yeah, good boy. Okay, that's not going to work. I'll just open this gate here. Leave him be. Leave him be. Hey, boys. They're all in good form. They'll find their way. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah. I'm a beautiful kitty. I color coordinate my animals, you see. I work very hard at it. Isn't that right, Maya? Yes, you and Mustard are the same color. Totally. Inca's the odd one out. Come on, boys. Meet your pals. So, the magic bucket technique is being used to get the two boys that are stuck in the orchard. See, if I bring these up to the orchard, excuse me. Come on, boys. Look, I got your buddies. Yeah. There we go. And I'm surrounded by sheep now we're all going down here now lads good boys come on the magic bucket technique And those are the boys. These are all the lambs that will be finished for uh, meat. And this is what's farming about. It's about producing food and producing the nicest, most delicious, nutrient dense food in an as environmentally friendly a fashion as possible and to make a living doing it.
that is what farming with nature is about and regenerative farming, regenerating the soil and helping the biodiversity of nature. Hey lads, come back in here. Come on. Bear, bear, come on. Gotta close this gate. Good dogs. The food in here is delicious. There's several different grasses, loads of clovers, plantains, daisies, dandelions. Look at all those dandelions in there. Look, now that is called a dandy long legs right there. It's going to be laying eggs, which turn into grubs, which go down into the ground, which feed birds in the winter. That's part of biodiversity, that animal right there. And a lot of people want to kill the grubs because they take up the lawns and the grass. But see, the thing is, if you want to kill them, you're going to kill all the other animals that are in that soil. Leather jackets, they're called, or they have a variety of different names. But you need them to feed the birds in the winter. And if you poison them, there's no food for the birds. And you also poison everything else in the soil. All the other insect life and grubs and things like that. Isn't that right, boys? They've had their snack and they've got lovely rich food in this garden area. I'll turn them out into the orchard after a few days so they have more space to wander around, more apples to eat. But for the moment, this is going to be their paddock to graze in and there's plenty of food. Isn't that right? You good boy. Yeah. Aren't you a good boy? Yeah. All these plum trees here have been shedding their plums. So the lambs who've been in here have been having delicious plums as well. Okay, lads. I'm going to leave you to getting used to your new small flock of male sheep and munching delicious food. A delicious biodiverse food. Look, see that lamb is eating fallen leaves. There's eating more fallen leaves as well as the clover, as well as the grass. So a delicious, well-rounded, healthy diet.